Hello friends, this is Brian Cavanaugh here. I'm the founder of Streamwise Solutions, Connected Living Made Easy. Today we are going to cover how to download the new Peacock app on the Fire TV. Uh, fortunately this way is much much easier than all this uh, side loading nonsense which we never recommend. Um, I'll show you today how to uh, not only download it but also kind of give you some tips and tricks about the differences between the different uh, Peacock subscriptions, Peacock Free, Peacock Premium, Peacock Premium Plus, and also just give you kind of some tips and tricks and what content's on there and how to best use it, things like that. Anyway, I'm just grabbing my Amazon Fire TV remote. Uh, really, I'm just kind of focusing up top on the remote with the center uh, select button in the middle of the circle to select something and then obviously moving around using the circle button up, down, left, right. There's different ways to download apps. I actually think the easiest way is just using voice remote. The voice remote button's right above the circle button up top at the very, very top of the remote. Uh, the key there is just make sure you hit it down and it lights up first before you start talking and make sure you enunciate. Peacock. So you can see I just did a voice search using that voice search button. Uh, Peacock is actually owned by NBC, which also owns Comcast. So Peacock is just a streaming service for, you know, some free content. Uh, I'm just using moving to the right here with the circle button and then hitting the center select button in the middle of the circle to select Peacock. That's going to open it, give me more options. Basically, I, I land on it. I just want to click on uh, download it. So um, downloading apps on Fire TV, I wouldn't get in the habit of doing it if you're not going to use it. Uh, quite frankly, you know, a lot of the content that's on Peacock, you don't even necessarily need, so I wouldn't waste time doing it unless you have something specific that you can't get somewhere else. Um, now that uh, you have things like, let's say, Sling TV or Philo or YouTube TV or all these other paid options, um, you can get pretty much all the content that's on Peacock in those locations in one spot as opposed to having to open up different apps. But anyway, uh, now that it's downloaded, you can see it gives me the option to open it. Just make sure you're on and highlight it on the open and then just hit the center select button again. That'll open it. Now, I already created an account. I actually have Comcast for Internet because unfortunately I'm in a monopoly area. I don't have any other options for Internet here where I live. So they did email me a free offer, which just like all Comcast stuff always sounds a lot better than it really is. Um, I would always stay away from... The Flexbox, by the way, while we're talking about Comcast, um, it's just smoke and mirrors and bait and switch pricing and other nonsense to get you locked into their uh, system once again. Uh, you know, they say it's a free deal. They say you get free local channels. They say all this other free nonsense, which it really isn't. Um, anyway, now that I'm on the Peacock app, the first time is the only time you really should need to do this is just hit the center select again to sign up and start watching. Now, you can go through the long-winded deal of using your Fire TV remote to type in your email and password, which I actually already created. Um, what I'm going to do is go down here to activate on your phone, which actually also lets you activate it on your computer. I always recommend you use your laptop, tablet, something like your, your desktop computer, whatever, to sign up originally. Um, I actually got an offer for Peacock Premium for six months free from Comcast. So I'm, I actually already signed up there. If you hit the center select button, once you get to the activate on phone, it actually allows you to do it on your computer as well. So I'm already logged in on my computer, which makes it even easier. So I'm just going to do it there. So if you just go to a web browser, type in, just like it says, peacocktv.com slash TV. That's what I'm doing now on my separate laptop computer. And then it'll take me there and have me uh, enter in the code. So I'm going to do that real quick. And like I was saying before, there are different um, versions of Peacock. So there is the free version, which anybody can get. Um, that comes actually with Xfinity Internet for free. 
they obviously want to push it and make it sound a lot cooler than it really is personally. Like I wouldn't waste time even getting it for most people unless there's some content on there specifically because like I said, you can get a lot of the same content um, actually even in free services, uh, free off the antenna for one is a lot of NBC content obviously. Uh, you can get a lot of the same stuff on Hulu, you can get a lot of the same stuff uh, on free apps, you can get a lot of the same stuff on paid apps like I was talking about before like Philo and Sling um, and YouTube TV or whatever your paid uh, you know cable channel provider is. So uh, anyway, and then the, the second thing is that uh, Peacock Premium is five bucks a month and that has ads and you know, it'll have some specific content or exclusive content. It's not all super awesome. Probably the only thing maybe in there for some people is sports. They offer certain like soccer, premier soccer league content or like WWE, uh, potentially some Olympic content. Uh, not a whole lot of really awesome stuff there to be honest with you at the end of the day though. Uh, and then there's also, of course, the Premium Plus Peacock, which is 10 bucks a month, which just gets rid of, rid of ads. You know, so you kind of see a lot of this nowadays. I know it's confusing. That's a big part of the reason Streamwise exists is to help people cut through the confusion. Um, anyway, now that I'm logged in here, I logged into my computer, like I said, because it's much easier. You just type in the code and you're, you're good to go. I'm going to hit, you can set up different profiles. I already have a profile here for Streamwise, so I'm just going to use that. Uh, it defaults into browse. You can see up top it's kind of highlighted. I'm just using the Fire TV remote circle button to go down and then obviously I can use the center select button to uh, you know get to something and select it. Um, even something that that is like seems exclusive like the office. A good example of that is the office and manifest and a lot of these things that are out here. Dateline, Law and Order. Believe it or not those are all free off of an antenna that we install, which is why we install, you know, over the air outdoor antennas. Um, and even the hardware that we use to set it up, you can get a nice grid TV guide and DVR to record it for free as well. So there's no monthly rate for any of that stuff. So like I said, really a lot of this stuff, it's better to just kind of do it other ways and set up recordings or even something like Yellowstone, you can actually get through some of these paid options as well. So again, not a whole lot of, of awesome, interesting stuff. Um, if you move up top again, though, and you go over to channels, you can kind of see by hitting the center select button again and going down, um, you know, this is some of the content they throw out there. So there's some news content. There's some, uh, you know, Olympics contents because Olympics are coming up right now. So there's, there's different things. Uh, WWE is, is something that actually is a more of a premium type of thing that some people might want. Um, a lot of this stuff, like I said, is just repeat stuff from other places. Uh, here's some movies, potentially. Same deal as before, though. A lot of this is, is free in other places. Um, so this just gives you an idea of kind of some of the content that's out there just to give you at least a high level overview. Um, I can again arrow back and go up and down with the circle button or on your Fire TV remote, to the right of the home button is kind of a back button. It's kind of a circle with an arrow. Um, if you hit that, it actually goes back to kind of where you last were. So it's kind of a quicker way to move around. So you can see I moved up top here uh, by doing that. So that's kind of a, a different way to, uh, to get to the same of this stuff. Actually, you can see if you keep hitting it, it'll go out, and I don't want to actually exit, so I'm going to go uh, go back down. So anyway, if I move back over to browse here, you can see you can also go to the further right and filter by movies or TV shows, uh, sports, news, what have you. I'm going to click on the sports section here because I think that's important. Um, sports will have a lot of NBC programming, obviously, because... Peacock is owned, uh, just like Comcast own, and Xfinity is owned by NBC Universal. So some of the premium content potentially that might be interesting to some people is there's cycling on here. Um, obviously some Olympic stuff. In the future, there'll probably be more hockey stuff on there as well. And then some type of Olympic stuff, as you can see here. There's some Tokyo Olympics, motocross, IndyCar, 
um, premier uh, premier lacrosse and then also soccer um, so that might be some of the stuff that that you know golf is on here as well rugby um, supercross whatever so that may be some stuff that is interesting to, to certain people of certain genres but uh, anyway in general I don't necessarily recommend Peacock I certainly don't recommend the flex box because like I said it's just bait and switch they're trying to get you in there again um, it's all ad supported on the free free version that comes with uh, with um, your Xfinity Comcast internet subscription uh, so keep in mind I am actually doing the paid version here which is normally at least five dollars a month or if you want it without ads it's ten dollars a month for some of this premium sports content uh, I guess the advantage is just like all of the things that we hook up and all streaming options they're either free and ad supported or they're free uh, excuse me they're paid uh, but month to month with no contracts so that is the, the one thing uh, as far as that goes. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in today. We'll have other uh, Fire TV videos uh, moving forward, but this has been uh, just kind of a summary of how to download the Peacock app on Fire TV and the easiest way to do it without doing any type of side loading or any of that nonsense, uh, which we don't support because it's just a pain in the butt. Um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.